Today, we are going to compare two popular cameras, the Panasonic GM5 and Sony A6000. We are going to take a look at their features, who they are for, how they perform in various use cases, user experiences, and which one is the right one for you. Links to both of the cameras will be listed in the description below. Let's get started. The Panasonic GM5 and the Sony A6000 are two digital cameras that were officially introduced respectively in the 15th of September 2014 and the 23rd of April 2014. Let's take a look at how their specs compare to each other. We tested both cameras to assess their performance in different scenarios. Let's take a closer look at our ratings for each of them. Here are our ratings for the Panasonic GM5. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 5 out of 10 rating. Here are our ratings for the Sony A6000. For portrait photography, we will give it a 7 out of 10 rating. For street photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For sports photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For day-to-day -day photography, we will give it an 8 out of 10 rating. For landscape photography, we will give it a 6 out of 10 rating. Next, we will take a look at some sample photos from the Panasonic GM5 and the Sony A6000. Keep in mind that these photos have editing done to them, so the result from your camera might be different. Let's start with the sample photos. Here are some sample photos from the Panasonic GM5. And here are some sample photos from the Sony A6000. Next, let's take a look at what other users of these cameras have to say about them. Here's what people have to say about the Panasonic GM5. I bought the Panasonic GM5 from a third-party vendor on Amazon and had to return it because it was the PAL version, which caused flickering in my videos due to the 2550th FPS frame rate. The difference between PAL and NTSC should be clearly spelled out in the product title and description. Be careful when purchasing from third-party vendors to ensure you get the right version for your location. I ordered the camera from Amazon warehouse deals and had issues with all three orders. The first camera was dead, the second wasn't the color I ordered, and the third was the wrong version. I'm hesitant to order from Amazon or Amazon warehouse deals again, despite their good return policy. Here's what people have to say about the Sony A6000. I absolutely love the compact size and grip of this camera, and the silver and black color looks great. However, I'm disappointed by the lack of a silent shutter mode and a dedicated mic input. The limited options for MP4 video format are also a drawback. Overall, I highly recommend this camera despite these shortcomings. I give it 8 out of 10. Overall, my experience with this camera has been mixed. The electronic viewfinder is great, but it struggles in bright sunlight. The Sony Play Memories app is frustrating to use, and the memory card is difficult to remove. The picture quality is fantastic, and the camera is a manageable size for travel. However, the menus are complicated, and the built-in flash is not powerful enough. To conclude, here are our overall ratings for both of these cameras. Panasonic GM5. We will give it an overall rating of 7 out of 10. Sony A6000. We will give it an overall rating of 8 out of 10.